the day has come and Elden Ring is finally here. Now this is a game that I have really been looking forward to playing. But in this video I thought I'd show you how you can resolve some of those crashing, freezing and not launching issues with Elden Ring on your Windows computer. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do like the video, then click on that subscribe button if you want to see more videos on how to resolve issues with games on your Windows computer. So the first thing that we need to do to fix Elden Ring not launching, freezing or just crashing is to ensure that Windows is up to date. And to check this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, select settings, and you then need to click on updates and security. And you now need to click on the check for updates button. Windows will now check to see if there are any new updates available. And as you can see, it's detected a few on my computer. Allow them to install. And then once they have finished installing, the next thing you need to do is ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So to check this, all you need to do is find out what graphics card you have in your computer. And if you're not sure, you can find out by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to device manager, and then expand and display adapters. And as you can see, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I would need to go to the NVIDIA website and then find my graphics card and download the driver for my graphics card. I will pop all the links in the description below to AMD, NVIDIA and Intel, where you can grab a driver for your graphics card. So once you've updated Windows and updated your graphics card, the next thing that you need to do is ensure that you don't have anything open when you're trying to play Elden Ring, as one of these programs or apps could be conflicting with the game, causing it to crash. So if you have a web browser open, a music player, or a hardware monitoring software, or even just a keyboard and mouse settings utility that allows you to change the RGB on your mouse and keyboard, close all of this down as it could be conflicting with the game causing it to crash. Once you've closed it all down, launch the game and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is unplug all the devices that are currently plugged into your computer. So if you have a USB stick plugged in, a microphone, a headset, a webcam, or anything like that, then unplug all of these devices and then launch the game and see if that resolves the issue. Also, if you do have a spare mouse and keyboard, then unplug the ones that are currently plugged into your computer and then plug in the new mouse and keyboard just to ensure that it wasn't your mouse and keyboard that was causing the issue. The next thing you're going to want to do is ensure that your security software is not conflicting with the game and causing it to not launch. So if you're using a third party security software like AFAST, AVG or something like that, then ensure that it's in a passive mode or a game mode. And if you don't have an option for that, then just go within the security software settings and make sure Elden Ring is not being blocked. Now, if you're using Windows Firewall, I will show you how to check this now. You can open up the start menu and type in Firewall. You then need to click onto Windows Defender Firewall, and you now need to select Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, and you then need to press E, just click anywhere in the list. And as you can see, Elden Ring is here and it's got a tick under private. So my Windows firewall is not blocking the game. So if you don't have a tick there, then you can click on change settings and you can then click on allow another app and you can then browse for Elden Ring.exe. Or if the game is already in the list, then you can simply select private. So once you've done all that, go ahead and press OK and return to your desktop and then launch Elden Ring if you did have to allow it for your security software to see if that resolved the issue. If you're not sure how to do that within your security, then you could always turn off your security software just for a temporary period of time to test the game to see if it is the security that's conflicting with it. However, you will not be protected from security threats while your security software is turned off. So just be very careful. The next thing that we need to do is allow Elden Ring to run as an administrator. So you now need to go to the location of where you installed the game. If you're not sure where you installed the game to, then you can find this out through Steam. So you need to go ahead and launch Steam 
And once you have Steam open, you then need to go to your library and find Elden Ring and you then need to right click on the game and go to manage and then go browse local files. You then need to go into the game folder and you will then see Elden Ring. You need to right click on this file and go to properties and you then need to select compatibility and you now need to tick run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that fixed the issue. If that didn't, then the next thing you need to do is just completely close all of this down and you now need to right click on the start menu icon and you need to select power options. You then need to select additional power settings and you then need to click onto high performance. You can also enable an ultimate performance which will give your computer even more power I will pop the link in the description below on how you can do this in Windows 10 and Windows 11. But if you're using Power Saver or Balance, definitely change it to high performance as this can help resolve a lot of issues with the game as it will allow your computer to use more power. So the next thing we need to do is right click on the start menu icon again and this time go to settings. You then need to go to gaming and you then need to click on to game mode. If you're using Windows 11, it will be in the same sort of area, just the menus might have a different word. So if you have game mode turned on, then you need to try turning this off and then launching the game. If you don't have game mode on, then turn it on as this could help resolve some of those problems because game mode is an option that will help optimize Windows to make your games run better. But like I just said, this can also sometimes cause issues. So it's good to test it on it and off. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to captures and you then need to turn this off as well. Record in the background while I'm playing. This could be conflicting with the game causing it to crash. In Windows 11 it's actually called record what happened. Once you've done all that and if that didn't resolve the issue then the next thing you need to do is open up Steam again because we need to check the game files to ensure none of them have become corrupt or missing. Once Steam's open, you then need to go to your library again and find Elden Ring. You now need to right click on Elden Ring and go to properties. And you now need to select local files. You then need to click on verify integrity of game files. And this is now going to check all the game files, like I said, to ensure none of them have become corrupt or missing. Once this is finished, go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing to do is ensure that you don't have any overclock settings applied to your hardware. If you do and you know how to remove those settings, remove the overclock settings just to ensure that they are not causing the problem in the game. So that does now pretty much bring me to the end of this video. If you're still facing issues with the game, then you might need to reinstall it or the other thing that you could try is launching the game on a different user profile in Windows as it could be an issue with your user profile. So I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.